All right, so to start this video, um, I'm not gonna, it's not clickbait, and I uh, figured I'd put it right at the front of the video. I was run off the road today. Um, truck's okay, trailer's okay, I'm okay. Cargo's okay, um, really just a scary experience. So we'll get into that. Uh, don't forget, I'm gonna put my personal channel down in the pinned comment down below. Don't forget to go give me a follow there, but let's get into the video. Now that on look on my face is the face of someone that just, I don't know how I didn't just upset the truck here. I'll show you guys. I, I'm getting turned around. I got cut off. And uh, as I got cut off, traffic was coming to a stop. I didn't have anywhere to go other than. Continue straight for 35 minutes to you. Other than in the ditch. So hold on, let me show you my mark. So there's my marks for me trying to get stopped. I got cut off right here, but traffic's moving. They swerved back over, but I had hit the shoulder and got sucked down in through there. But I was able to get turned around. Like I, I went down in the ditch, look at it. Hold on, let me zoom out. Down in the mud, straight through the mud, and there's where I came up out of there. Whew. So what had happened there when I, um, when I swerved, the, the, the trailer started to get a little, like a little squirrely. So I, I was trying to get it straightened back out. And uh, that's when I started going towards the, the median and got sucked down off the road. I just held on with two hands and uh, I pretty much shot for the mud because I knew hitting the mud would slow me down the most and uh, get me to like a more level surface. But whew, well, that was scary. Definitely scary. Oh, well, good morning, guys. I've been on the road for a while here this morning. I got 151 miles in so far. Stopping to get a little bit of fuel, so I don't do my uh, usual run out of fuel on the side of the road. Uh, I'm not filling up here. I'm only gonna get probably, I don't know, 10, 15 gallons. I, uh, cause I can save like 90 cents a gallon about another 50 miles down the road. So uh, just gonna get a little bit here and then, and then uh, hop to that next spot. If I was in a big rush, I would probably just fill up here, but I'm not really in a big rush today. Um, I've got time. I've got four hours, about four and a half hours left till uh, Wilmington, North Carolina, where I drop off the the BMW, and then I'm gonna hop a mile down the road, pick up a Infinity, then I'm gonna go down to Sunset Beach, drop off the the Trailblazer, and then from Sunset Beach, I'm gonna hop over to Conway, South Carolina, which is outside of Myrtle Beach, and pick up a Explore, and I'm gonna have to do some shuffling, so I'm gonna have to make two picks and two drops today. But um, it shouldn't be that bad, especially because the ones are a mile apart. So I'll catch up with you guys once I get through this fuel line, which could be here for a while. But uh, this is the what is this Ruth Ruther Allen or Ruther Glen Ruther? I don't know. Exit 104 on 95. This loves. I should have just went to the Flying J that's that's right off the interstate of coming left because it takes forever to get back here but i'm here now so it is what it is well pulling into wilmington north carolina this is our first stop there's a bmw store six tenths of a mile up here and then the Mannheim wilmington is really close now this light's been a pain i've been at this light for probably 15 minutes so they don't give you a green arrow it's just a yellow flashing area arrow so i gotta anyways who cares about that um but i i'm in a little bit of a hurry kind of i just need to rush to make everything happen as far as both drop-offs and both pickups here uh before six o'clock it's 208 right now so uh we're we're making good time but we'll see what happens now the worst part about this car is 
this is how I gotta get in it. Got the seats laid down already from getting out to not cause any damage. Even though this is a used vehicle, I don't wanna cause any damage. We gotta, we gotta go into the trunk. So, uh oh, dropping the keys. So last thing I'm gonna do is get it all the way in here and not have any keys for it. All right, now that we're successfully locked ourselves in here, it's time to take our shoes off and crawl up front. So I've never been here before. This is Manheim, Wilmington. This is all it is. It's just a fenced in tiny little lot next to like a dealership. So it shouldn't be all that hard to find our car. So I'll walk in here to this office, print out our gate pass. and I'm hoping to be in and out of here in, in 15 or so minutes. I might, I might move the car that's in the trailer out because that delivers then. So I might move it out put it in the back and put this infinity in the front we'll, we'll see so their sold lot here is like 10 cars <laughs> oh man i'm not complaining i usually have to walk miles to find cars looking for an uh, infinity g37 she said once you get back here it's to the right i mean i wouldn't mind coming here if i had a customer that bought out of here not having to run around and look for cars guessing this is where they put the sold cars now we just got to find an infinity which might be this right here hoods popped on it which means the battery's probably dead um 0838 0838 dead dead there's guys over here We'll get them to uh, see if we can get them to start this for us. No big deal. No big deal. There's guys on a golf cart over here. Well, we're still out here working in the dark and in the rain. So let me tell you this story real quick. I rushed here to get this. I made it seven minutes before they closed. Lady that I was supposed to see, not very nice. Zero out of 10 recommend. But I know how it is when people are trying to get out. But I was there before the doors locked. Anyways, gives me the wrong keys. I walk out to the parking lot. This has a Maryland plate, and we're in South Carolina, Conway, South Carolina right now. So I walk out, and it won't unlock the car. The physical key won't, and the fob won't. So I run back in real quick, find the guy that's still left in there. We found the keys, but uh, this thing broke down down here in Myrtle Beach, and now they're trying to get it back to... Uh, trying to get it back to Maryland and I just gotta like I said I tossed my straps for my last unload and uh, and booked it down here because I was I was cutting it close and with it starting to rain uh, traffic was kind of messed up right here at at six o'clock but 2020 Explorer we'll get uh we'll get stuffed in here and uh strapped down and find us a place to call it a night why is it that the places with the cheapest fuel bring out the biggest idiots. Blocking the road, well I'm not, we're off the road. But just cause they won't pick a lane to get in for diesel fuel. Like just file in behind the somebody, anybody. And all you're doing is blocking the road and I'm only here for cheap diesel so I can top off both my tanks. FedEx guy ain't playing around. Maybe he ain't getting fuel though. So while this slow pump's working, I, uh, I posted a video on my TikTok the other day explaining that for the last 30, 35,000 miles I've been tracking on this 7.3 as far as fuel and maintenance, I have used approximately like $21,000 in fuel and $635 in maintenance. Um, maintenance has only been oil changes, fuel filters, um, tires I got sponsored, um, and everything else was pretty much done before I started tracking. So what happened is I used to keep all my maintenance in a Google Sheets document, and one day I woke up and I had it for every truck from when I started with my 11 Duramax 
my um, 13 Cummins I had, my 18 Cummins, all gone. So it kind of sucked, but um, so since I started tracking, it's only been oil changes and fuel filters on this truck because everything that I had done before, like the uh, uh, Mishimoto trans cooler, um, serviced all, like I serviced the trans in obviously, I did the rear, the rear end, um, all that was done and in that Google spreadsheet. So I think it comes out to, somebody figured it out. It was like 61 cents, 61 cents per mile and just fuel. So you gotta like think to consider that in, uh, in some of your rates, like how much you're actually spending in fuel. And um, you know, that it adds up over time. And if you're only taking something for a dollar a mile, it's really no profit in it. So you may ask why I unloaded here while well, the dealership is up over that hill and the parking lot's tight. Hello parking lot's tight here. So this is like their used car lot or used to be their used car lot. Um, there's like a driving school going on here right now, but I didn't really see anywhere, uh, anywhere else I'd be able to park. So we're going to get all this stuff flipped up and, uh, just have to walk back down from delivering that. <laughs> 